Hey friends, welcome back. I am so excited to share today's video. We are getting started on my front porch for spring. Now this will be part one because there is so much to put into this and I just thought we could do all the projects in one video and then all of the decorating in the other. So today we are going to be working on this porch, getting some painting done. I wanted to work on these shutters because you can see here um, the sun has really done some damage here and they've never been painted before other than when we built this house. So we're going to work on those today and then I wanted to stay in the concrete. It's been a couple years and it just needs to be done. And then I also have a new idea for this little corner that's kind of offset, but we'll get back into that a little later on in the video. But for right now, I wanted to start painting my front door and add a pop of color for spring. I feel like there are certain areas of your home that you can add a pop of color or make a bold statement. And then if you decide you want to change it or you don't like it, or maybe it's just a little too much, it's not so much of a job or so much work to just change it back. So I thought what better way to add a little pop of color to the front porch, make a statement for the spring and summertime than to paint my front door. So I'm gonna quickly wipe this down before we get started painting. But I also wanted to show you guys where I got my inspiration from. These are the pillowcases that I purchased from Amazon and I absolutely love this block print. And then I also have some green ticking stripe that I'm going to layer with it. But the blue just spoke to me and my whole family loves blue. So we're going with blue. <laughs> So I tried to match it as best as possible and I feel like this is perfect. This is the color Honest Blue and I chose an eggshell paint because I really don't like my doors super glossy, but I think it's gonna be perfect for what I'm wanting to do here. So I'm really excited to get started on this front door and I'm just gonna go in with a paintbrush and get into all those grooves and then I'm going to go over it with a roller. I'm sure this is probably gonna take more than one coat but I do have a lot of painting going on in today's video, so I'll be sure to speed things up for you guys so I'm not painting your life and my life away. But if you're one of those people who painting is very relaxing or just watching the process is very relaxing, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys can all get some inspiration for your day. closer I get to being finished with this door, the more I love it. I am so happy with how it's turning out, but now I realize I really need to touch up this trim and make it really bright and white too. So we'll get back to that. I actually have some rain coming. I feel like every couple of days it's really pretty and bright and sunny and then we'll get like flash floods and it'll last for like two or three days. 
So now I'm really on a time crunch and I've got to get this porch cleaned off, get all of the pollen taken care of, and then I'm probably gonna have to work in sections as far as the concrete and the shutters go. So since the front door is finished, I'll probably start over here and then work my way back and then take a break, let that dry, and then work on the shutters and then come back and finish it up, if that makes any sense. I've just got to make sure that I can beat this rain. I know it looks absolutely beautiful right now outside, but I know it's coming, so we're really trying to hurry this project up. But here is the concrete stain that I'm gonna be using. The one that I used, I believe, a couple years ago was not the same, and I'm hoping this lasts a little bit longer. But I chose the color Iron Ore because I didn't want black, but I didn't want this light gray that I had before. I felt like it was pulling to blue and I wanted something a little more neutral, but I wanted to add some depth here too. So I chose the color iron ore in the stain and I really wanted to cover up those holes when we had some termite damage that we had to take care of. They drilled these holes and filled them back in, but those spots were driving me crazy. I know that you guys said it really wasn't that big of a deal, but for me, I don't like it. I just wanted things to look a little bit more polished. So I just felt like it was perfect timing to go ahead and update the stain since it has almost completely worn off. So I'm going to get started kind of just trimming out the edges and then I'm gonna go over it with a roller this time. And since it's already covering those spots pretty well, I think I may just stick with one coat and hopefully that'll allow a little bit of that natural concrete color to show through as well. All right, so now that all of the edges are done, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the shutters. Now, I originally thought to take them down, but my mom mentioned that it might actually be a little bit hard to get them back up by the windows. So I just thought, you know, we're gonna tape around them and we are just gonna leave them where they are. Now I am using an exterior paint and I decided to go with that same color, Iron Ore. Now it is a Sherwin-Williams color, but if you guys didn't already know this, Valspar will tint any paint that you want of theirs in the Sherwin-Williams colors. I have always used Valspar paint. I just love how well it works. I love the consistency. I've never had an issue with their paint. So the fact that I have more color options now in Valspar, I am all about it. So that's what we did. I asked for iron ore in this exterior paint. I didn't wanna go with a jet black this time. So I thought this would be perfect to change it up a little bit, kind of have that dark gray, but I feel like it'll go with everything. So it's turning out really pretty so far. Um, this exterior paint almost changes as it dries. So right now it looks kind of brown, but it is that true dark, almost black, but not quite black, <laughs> gray. So here you can see it still looks a little brown, but once it dries, it is that true iron ore color.
All right, guys. Well, we just missed the rain. I was so happy. Everything was dry before the rain started, but now it is pouring outside. So I am going to get started on my next project. So I had this idea to create somewhat of a little gardening station in that little corner because my window is offset. There's only so much space there to work with. So I wanted to try and use what I had to create what I had in mind. And then of course I went to Pinterest because I thought I can't be the only person that has thought of this idea and you know, kind of DIY'd it. So of course went to Pinterest and I found exactly what I had pictured in my mind, but of course better because everything on Pinterest is just better, right? <laughs> So I think this is what we are going to do, or I'm just gonna kind of use this as my blueprint, I guess. And I did want to do some kind of shelving system up that wall and carry it all the way up for all of my herbs. So I think that I am going to get the desk painted and then seal it so that it can be an outside functioning space. And then I think this week I'm gonna work on building the top part so that I can house all of my little garden tools and just really make this fun and cute, but still functional. So once this rain stops, I'll take this outside and I'm going to spray it down seal it, make sure it is ready for the outdoors. But now that I'm out here, I am seeing my whole vision come to life and I'm really excited to get started and to show you guys next week and decorate and get this porch ready for spring. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you today. The sun is shining, it is beautiful out here, and I am loving how this porch is coming together. If today is your first time watching one of my videos, thank you so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss part two of my spring front porch makeover. I am so excited for next week and to get all these beautiful flowers out here and my little gardening station going. It is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. But again, thank you guys so much for being here for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you all next Sunday. Bye friends.